There's the time and date, as always, and it's time for the very first Ready Penguin 1 Artie's Rippery.com how to video. Today I will be showing you how to hook up an Otis elevator button, how to power it up. Now, I got this elevator button off of eBay. This one is a Micromotion 3 push button concave flush screw connector. This is the current one that's wired up right now. Electric rating, 6 volts DC, part number AAA 23500 AK165, mirrored brass, LED, red LED, and then a clear ring body, one contact. I also got some other buttons which are off camera. AAA 23500 AK33, non illuminating brush brass button. So I'll be selling that button if you want it. Just go check the link in the description below. Also, we have a, a AAA 23500 AK19 mirrored brass green LED that has an amp connector like you saw on this button. I still need to get the connector so that way I can wire it up. If you want to wire an Otis screw connector button, you want to take a look first on the catalog. The link will be in the description below to the catalog. And you'll want to check its electrical rating if you do not know. So they start as low as 6 volts and work their way up to 120 volts. Most common is 24 volts, but not all of them are 24 volts. You'll want to check beforehand. If you take a look at the button itself, you'll see on the screw connector button that they have some labeled screw terminals. Over here is a C. It means normally closed and then backwards in and O, normally open, and over here you have your traditional plus and minus. So to wire it up, you're going to first want a battery. We're going to take a 9 volt battery. I know this is rated at 6 volts, but 9 volts works just fine for a short amount of time. So we're going to take a 9 volt battery, you're going to wire it up. You're going to want to put the positive terminal all the way over here to the positive terminal on the button. You're going to want to take the negative wire and in this case, we install the toggle switch, which is able to toggle the button on all the time or only on when you push it, which is very good. So if you want like a nightlight or something, you can use a toggle switch, toggle it on or toggle it off. And I want to also give a big thank you to my dad for wiring this up for me. Here's a look at the schematic that my dad drew. And this right here is a battery, whatever voltage your button takes, put an appropriate battery there, whatever voltage. I wouldn't recommend the 12 volt battery though. It's a very tiny battery, the A23 battery, and it has about 50 milliamp hours in it. If you have a 24 volt button like these right here, you're probably going to want to wire two 9 volt batteries together so they'll add the voltage to 18 volts. And the negative from the battery, if you want a toggle switch, goes to the toggle switch and then another negative from the toggle switch and into the negative terminal. So that will toggle the light on or off but to make it work when you press the button or complete the circuit you're going to want to take another wire in this case it's illustrated by the green wire from the negative terminal on the button to the normally closed terminal, the C. Also, you'll want to take another wire from the battery to the normally open port right here on the button. And now it completes the circuit and the toggle switch is toggled off. So that is how to wire up an Otis button so that way it will light up when pressed. And like I said, the toggle switch is completely optional. You can wire it up two different ways, or you can wire it up one way like this and use the toggle switch to toggle between the two. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, go ahead and click the like button. And if you want to see more how-to electrical videos, please leave a comment down below. So watch for future videos about elevator push buttons coming soon. There's the Otis push button in the dark, and that is it. Thanks for watching, everyone.